In the latest study from the Center for Public Integrity, Michigan gets an F when it comes to transparency. Now, Michigan and Massachusetts are the only two states that exempt the governor and legislature from freedom of information requests. Lawmakers have been trying to change this for the past decade with no success. Under Michigan law, anyone has the legal right to request records from public officials, but there's two big exceptions, the governor's office and the state legislature. We are one of two states where you cannot FOIA the governor's office, and we're one of eight states where you can't uh, FOIA the legislature. Steve Dealey with the Michigan Coalition for Open Government says over the past decade, several bills have been proposed to open the governor's office and legislature up to the Freedom of Information Act, or FOIA as it's commonly known, Every single one of those bills died before getting to the governor's desk due to a lack of support or not being put up for a vote in the Senate. Dilley says it's no wonder Michigan ranks dead last in transparency. I'm not accusing anyone of actually hiding anything, but that's kind of the impression that the public gets when they're unable to get access to these records. Dilley says this should matter to everyone because a government that is not open and honest has the danger of losing credibility. And we as the public need access to this information to know what's going on behind the scenes in government and to really be able to hold our officials accountable. Two lawmakers, Democrat State Senator Jeremy Ross and Republican State Senator Ed McBroom, are trying to change all that. Ross and McBroom have reached across party lines for a bipartisan bill that would make the governor and lawmakers open to FOIA. Look, this is about being open, transparent about who you're communicating with out of the office. Um, are you doing the job that your constituents asked you to do? If this legislation would have been in, in play back then, things possibly could have turned out different with water. It wasn't until the fall of 2015 uh, that we really learned about uh, the details uh, of the Flint water crisis, which could have been unearthed had this proposal existed. Senator Moss says former Governor Rick Snyder and his staff were exchanging emails about the water crisis early on and says FOIA could have stopped the crisis before it got worse. My office, I represented Southfield, and my office just so happened to be next to the state representative for Flint at the time, Sheldon Neely, who's now the mayor of Flint. Uh, and so he was telling me from the early part of 2015, there's a crisis on the ground. You should see our water. It's brown. It's got sediment in it. And then Governor Rick Snyder did release thousands of emails and documents that showed conversations about issues with the water long before they were made public. The right thing to do. It is that but it has real world implications for real people here in the state of Michigan. This most recent FOIA legislation has already passed the House and is just waiting to be put for a vote in the Senate. It's up to Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky to put it for a vote. I've reached out to Shirky's office four times and have not yet heard back. Dealey said Shirky is going to have to be pressured to push this forward. We really need the public to get engaged and active on this issue. While this pending legislation seems promising to transparency, Senator McBroom said some will always find a way around the law. It's just like any other problem. You, you find one solution and those who want to misbehave will find a new way to accomplish their ends. And one of Governor Whitmer's promises when she ran for office was to be transparent. I have reached out to her office on whether she would support this current legislation pending, but her office has not yet got back with me.